hello friends welcome to my channel go digit today in this video we will learn about one of the property of uh, subscriber code unit okay so uh, that property called let me show you before I explain you that thing so here is my project and uh, let me create a subscriber code unit subscriber code unit okay and uh, here let me create one code unit and name it let's say subscriber code unit or should I write it here manual subscriber unit code unit okay now let me delete these lines because I don't require now if you press control space you find this property event subscriber instance so this video is based on this property only so now if I press control space again it has two values okay either I can select manual or either I can select static automatic so we will see what is the difference between these two properties today okay so let's say I select manual here okay and uh, I create one more code unit here only with ID let's say this one and for this I'll call it auto subscriber code unit and this time I change this manual to static automatic okay guys now because I have uh, set the property of this code unit as event subscriber instance so I have to define the subscription subscription events here okay so I have to uh, define only subscription event in both of these code units so to subscribe the code uh, to subscribe any event I have to create one integration event okay so for that uh, let me create one more file let me call it publish code unit because here we will create publisher event so here I'll type 50115 and this is my publish code unit publish code unit so what I'll do here is I create one integration event here T event integration okay so let's call this procedure click me okay and because it's an integration event I don't need to write any particular code here in the beginning so whatever code uh, I want to be initiate when this event uh, occurs I will write in the subscription code unit only so what I'll do I create one subscription event here T event sub okay and I select code unit here and then in the code unit I type publish code unit right and here I have only one integration event which is click me so I type here click me and this one I don't require so keep it blank skip on missing license should be false and skip on missing permission also set as false okay so here uh, this is I should call it manual function okay and just print one message here that it's a manual subscription event all right let's copy this complete code and paste it in the second code unit but this time of course I need to change a little bit it's not manual it's auto okay and 
I changed the message definition also as auto subscription event. Okay, so now try to understand what I did. First of all, I created one integration event. Okay, a publish publisher event or code unit. Okay, now I have created one two code units basically, and just to identify the difference between uh, the these two different values of manual and static automatic. Okay, so both these two subscriber events are uh, subscribing to my publisher code unit and subscribing to this integration event called click me. All right, so let's understand the behavior of both these subscriber events. So to understand the behavior, what I'll do is I'll create one more file and let's say I create one test page T page okay let me call it test page I don't require this thing so let me delete this one and of course I don't require any layout I just want one action on my page so sorry let me select this one and delete okay and here let me call this action a click me action and change the caption also as click me now I have to create variable variable of publish code unit publish CU all right and now if I type publish CU I'm not seeing my function here did I miss something publish CU right let me type again publish CU dot wait there is some mistake let me check okay let me check uh, publish you okay okay guys I think I have made this procedure local so that's why it was not showing now if I type here again publish cu dot yeah it is visible now okay so now I have called my integration event on this action so when I run this page and click on this action my integration event will occur and as soon as this integration event occur my subscriber code units will start run okay and uh, this event they will execute this event they will execute because both these events are subscribing to my integration event so I think this time when I run maybe both these messages should print let's see that I press ctrl shift B and okay sorry let me pass this ID to my launch.json as 50116 let me again compile and let's deploy the project and let's see the output and when we see the output we immediately come to know the difference between static automatic and manual okay so the output will definitely give the clarity of the difference between this manual and static automatic property right so okay now I got something like this what happened let me go to the launch.json again everything is fine if 
if I compile also it's everything fine control F5 it's authenticated also it is opening the wrong URL let me close this one this time it will open up yes I believe this time I will not face any error come on business center will open up right so this is my page and now I click on actions and click on click me and my message comes auto subscription event click on OK and that's it so if you see my subscription code unit I have two code units here this subscriber event subscribed to this integration event and print this message but this subscriber event did not subscribe to this particular integration event and because it did not subscribe that's why it did not print this message also so now we understood at least that if we assign the static automatic that subscriber event definitely subscribe to the integration event but if we subscribe uh, or if we put the manual in the property then that subscriber event will not subscribe to the integration event right but if this is a property then definitely there is a way to make this subscriber event subscribe to the integration event so let's see that how we should make this subscriber event work let's go back to the test page again and this time we have to create a variable of this code unit manual subscriber so I go to the variable section and subscriber code unit code unit subscriber okay manual subscriber code unit right I have created this variable now there are two functions which are available for only this specific purpose right so the first function is bind subscription okay and it takes the parameter of that code unit in which we define the property manual so we have to pass this variable right now as soon as we pass this this is an indic this is an indication to my subscriber code unit which is of type manual that I want to subscribe to those events okay so because we set the property manual that's why we have to manually and explicitly define in our code that whether we want to uh, we want to run our code which is written in the subscriber code unit of manual of type manual or not okay because there are certain scenarios where you do not want to to your subscriber event to run on certain events okay so that's why it gives you a freedom that based on your process or your need you can bind your subscription and once your work is done you can unbind your subscription right so this is how this process works now let's build this project again and let's deploy this to see the difference now okay so first time actually subscribe binding my subscription of manual type so I think the first time the manual message will print and this then second time the auto message will print let's see the results Okay, let me click on actions click me and see this time manual subscription event print first 
Why? Because I have bind that subscription first. Right? So now after that auto subscription event runs. So in this manner, both of my subscriber events are running. Okay. This function also runs. This function also runs because they both are subscribing to the same integration event. But based on my requirement, I set this, I can set this property to manual and uh, whether on any particular condition, I don't want to run my subscriber event because I don't want to run my code. So for such problems, for such conditions, for such scenarios, you can set the property manual and then define your subscriber events. Okay, guys. So I hope today uh, with this video, those who do not have any idea about this property, they can uh, they can understand that the, what's the use of this manual and the static automatic. Okay, so guys, uh, I just request you to please try uh, more scenarios with this with these properties and uh, let me know in the comment section if you uh, uh, if you feel or if you feel that this is very useful or not. Okay, uh, so with that note, I just want to. Uh, close this video today now and if you like my video request you to please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching this video